Hello, I'm Richard Ridge for Broadway World. Up next at Roundabout Theatre Company is Tony Award winner Stephen Karam's new version of the Chekhov classic, The Cherry Orchard. And we drop by the American Airlines Theatre to talk with the starry cast, led by Diane Lane. Everyone's figuring this family out together, right? Yes, that's true. Very collaborative, very sharing, very open. Yeah. Very open. Um, I've heard of doing some of this character work and then you say, okay, now keep that to yourself. But we're not. We're posting it around and we get to read each other's histories and biographies in character and it's very, we're building on each other's stories as one, as, as a family does. Yeah. And working with this cast so far, what a dynamite cast. I know, I know. I'm very, very, very lucky. I, you know, it's, um, I was saying that I feel as though I'm sort of holding up the roof, like, yeah. but, but I'm, I'm not the fire eater, I'm not the lion tamer, I'm not the dragon slayer in a way, you know, I just, she's, she's got this rich history and I don't know, there's just so much wonderful aspects to the play that no one character, uh, like with, like with Shakespeare, you know, I always loved the fool, <laughs> he was always my favorite. <laughs> I'm fascinated. Um, Tell me about the adaptation by Stephen Karam of this new Cherry Orchard. I think if I were to describe it as being different from, say, Tom Stoppard's or uh, any of the other previous versions, I think he and our gifted and amusing and adorable director had an idea that this was no longer a fancy schmancy English pure idea of the cherry orchard. The cherry orchard, this is not, this is American. And I think he's interested in that. And uh, Stephen has written a somewhat colloquial version without losing the flavor. But it's. It's very different. It's very different, and I, uh, I think it'll speak to audiences in America. I feel like I, as an audience member and as an actor, have felt so intimidated by Chekhov that um, approaching the material, I was like, oh my god, I don't know what I'm doing. And sometimes when I watch Chekhov, I'm like, I have no idea what's going on, and it's kind of dull. And what I've really appreciated about this process is that I think we are really, really trying to find the ways to make it accessible and of the now. And, and our director, Simon Godwin, is doing, I think, a very, very good job in helping us all go in that direction. Diane and Joel and Harold and Chuck, there are so many people uh, that I'm learning from just by watching them, whether they realize it or not. And this is such a relevant uh, version that Stephen has written, right? Yeah, I think that uh, sometimes Chekhov because it's so, because he was so prolific, some of the translations can feel very uh, heavy-handed or literary. And Stevens feels like it was made for actors and for real people to live in. And I'm enjoying it so much. So I've never been through a process like this. And we are really creating the show and the community together. Which, you know, I'm not so off on my own doing my actor, whatever I do in my head. We are together creating community and already in the few rehearsals that we have, you can feel um, what's, what's happening with us. You can feel in the room, we are making relationships that we didn't even expect to make and it's really beautiful and Simon is, he's just amazing, uh, uh, our director at putting this all together and it's been really a great process. Everybody said when I came, you've got to go to the humans, got to go to the humans. So I went to the humans and was blown away. And, um, and then and I, I didn't get this uh, adaptation, this version of it, till right before we started, uh, because they were working on, he was working on it, and I think with Simon too, they, we were working on it together to make it as relevant as possible. But it's amazing and beautiful. And, uh, and there we are. We're all very happy, a bunch of happy actors. I like that. It's very nice. Yeah, it's, it's nice to go to rehearsal that way. What an incredible cast you're getting to work with. What's it been like in the rehearsal room? This is crazy. Okay, that's Diane Lane over there. Hello. And, you know, Joel Gray. Excuse me. 
my name makes that fair. Go around. No. Um, <laughs> I, I'm like, I get to work with these guys? Yeah. Come on. I'm living the dream. I'm living the dream so wonderfully. Don't pinch me. <laughs> then you have this incredible director. Simon's making, Simon Godwin is making his Broadway debut. I hear the rehearsal room has been wonderful. Simon, okay, I'm just like in love with this guy. He's so fun. The room is safe. The room is ripe for exploration. He's so intelligent. He's so, um, he's just got a great heart. His energy is wonderful. Uh, I, I don't see how we can, we, we have to be successful with him at the helm. Well, for me, what's been exciting is that the play feels like it's a new play. Uh, it feels sparkling and witty and relevant. And I felt, well, most importantly, we had to wipe the dust off Chekhov and make him sparkle for a new audience today. I love how some of the actors have been telling me that you sit everybody in the room together and you, you create this world. What's that been like for you? Well, it's been good for me because the play is so much about being part of a family. So when the audience come and see the show, what we want to communicate to them is that the actors do feel like they've known each other for a very long time. And of course, when you only have the actors for a matter of weeks, you have to very quickly establish that relationship. So uh, it's been pretty essential for me creating the ensemble.